In this lecture, we are going to solve these two questions. So let's start with question number one. An individual who has automobile insurance from a certain company is randomly selected. Let Y be the number of moving violations for which the individual was cited during the last three years. The probability mass function of Y is given here. In part A, we have to compute the expected value of Y. So in part A, we have to compute the expected value of Y. We know that expected value of Y is equal to summation Y multiplied by probability of y. So this is equal to 0 multiplied by 0 0.60 plus 1 multiplied by 0 0.25 plus 2 multiplied by 0 0.10 plus 3 multiplied by 0 0.05 and this is equal to 0 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.20 plus 0 0.15 and this is equal to 0 0.6. So the expected value of y is 0 0.6. Now let's move to part b. Suppose an individual with y violations incurs a surcharge of 100 y square. We have to calculate the expected amount of the surcharge. So that means we have to calculate the expected value of 100 y square. Now we know that in general expected value of ax is equal to a multiplied by expected value of x where x is any kind of random variable. We are given in the question that y is a random variable. So that means even y square is a random variable. And using this proposition that I have written here, we can write expected value of 100 y square is equal to 100 multiplied by expected value of y square. So now let's calculate the expected value of y square. So let's calculate this. So to calculate the expected value of y square, let's calculate the probability mass function of y square. So we are given in the question the probability mass function of y and we have to calculate the probability mass function of y square. You can write square here. So we are given that y can take these four values and the corresponding probabilities are 0 0.6, 0 0.25, 0 0.1 and 0 0.05. Now when y is equal to 0, y square is also equal to 0 and the probability that y will be equal to 0 is 0 0.6. So the probability that y square will be equal to 0 is also 0 0.6. When y is equal to 1, y square is also equal to 1 and the probability that y is equal to 1 is 0 0.25. So even this probability is 0 0.25. When y is equal to 2, y square is equal to 4 and this would have a probability of 0 0.1 and when y is equal to 3, y square is equal to 9 and once again we have probability of 0 0.05 here. So now as you can see the probability values in these cases are identical and that's logical as well. Okay, so now let's calculate the expected value of y square. So expected value of y square is equal to summation of y square multiplied by you can write either probability of y square or probability of y so let's write probability of y it doesn't make any difference both are same and we are summing it over all the values of y square so we can write 0 into 0 0.6 plus 1 into 0 0.25 plus 4 multiplied by 0 0.1 plus 9 multiplied by 0. 0, 0.05 and this is equal to 0 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.45 and this is equal to 1.1 so expected value of y square is equal to 1.1 and expected value of 100 y square is equal to 100 multiplied by expected value of y square so this means that expected value of 
100 y square is equal to 100 multiplied by 1.1 and this is equal to 110 dollars and that's it this is the answer to part b now let's move to question number two an appliance dealer sells three different models of upright freezers having 13.5 15.9 and 19.1 cubic feet of storage space respectively. Let x is equal to the amount of storage space purchased by the next customer to buy a freezer. Suppose that x has the following PMF. In part A, we have to compute the expected value of x, expected value of x square and variance of x. So in part A, let's compute the expected value of x first and we know that expected value of x is equal to summation x multiplied by probability of x so this is equal to 13.5 multiplied by 0 0.2 plus 15.9 multiplied by 0 0.5 plus 19.1 multiplied by 0 0.3 and this is equal to 16.38 so expected value of x is equal to 16.38 let's now calculate the expected value of x square so expected value of x square is equal to summation x square multiplied by probability of x okay and this is equal to 13.5 whole square multiplied by 0 0.2 plus 15.9 whole square multiplied by 0 0.5 plus 19.1 whole square multiplied by 0 0.3 and solving this we will get 272.298 so this is the expected value of x square. Now the third thing that we have to find is the variance of x. There are many formulas to find the variance of x but as we have already calculated the expected value of x and the expected value of x square. So let's use this formula. So it is equal to expected value of x square minus expected value of x whole square. Okay and we have already calculated these values so this is equal to 272.298 minus 16.38 whole square and this is equal to 3.9936 so with this we are done with the part A let's now move to part B If the price of a freezer having capacity x cubic feet is 25x minus 8.5, what is the expected price paid by the next customer to buy a freezer? So this means that in part B, we have to calculate the expected price. So that means we have to calculate this because the price is equal to 25x minus 8.5. Now we can use the propositions that we know about the expected values. So we know that expected value of a y plus b where y is any random variable is equal to a multiplied by expected value of y plus b. So we can use this proposition to calculate the expected value of price. So using this proposition we get expected value of 25x minus 8.5 is equal to 25 multiplied by expected value of x minus 8.5 and in the part a we calculated the expected value of x it was equal to 16.38 so 25 multiplied by 16.38 minus 8.5 and this is in a bracket and this is equal to 409.5 minus 8.5 and this is equal to 401. So the expected price paid by the next customer to buy a freezer is 401.
Now let's move to part C. In part C, we have to calculate the variance of the price paid by the next customer. So that means we have to calculate variance of 25x minus 8.5. Well, in general, we have this proposition that variance of a y plus b, where y is any random variable, is equal to a square multiplied by variance of y. So we can use this proposition to answer this question. So using this proposition, variance of 25x minus 8.5 is equal to 25 whole square multiplied by variance of x. And we calculated the variance of x in part A of this question. It was equal to 3.9936. So this is equal to 625 multiplied by 3.99. 3, 6 and this is equal to 2, 4, 9, 6. So this is the variance of the price. Now let's move to part D. Suppose that although the rating capacity of a freezer is X, the actual capacity is this. HX is equal to X minus 0.1 X square. What is the expected actual capacity of the freezer purchased by the next customer? So that means we have to calculate the expected value of x minus 0.1 x square. Well, using the propositions that we have for expected values, we can write this as expected value of x minus 0.1 expected value of x square. And in part A of this question, we calculated that expected value of x is 16.38 and the expected value of x square is 272.298. Solving this, we get 13.657 and this is the answer.